It's Fit of Friday here at Second Swing Minnetonka, here with fellow employee James Tracy. We're both fitters at this location. Morning, Thomas. Good to be here, my friend. How are you? Very good. Here to uh, test the Cobra F9 and the Mizuno ST190 driver heads. It's time to uh, take a look at some, essentially some drivers that have had a little bit more of, um, I guess they've been maybe a little bit behind with regards to the big four OEMs, but we've had a lot of exposure this year because tour players have obviously have done really, really well. So yeah, it's first year where yeah. Cobra and Mizuno definitely are coming in. Customers have a lot of buzz. They want to try them, want to test them, want to see what kind of numbers they produce uh, for you. So let's get after it. Let's get after it. All right. All right, James, it looks like we've got the Cobra King F9, nine degree head. That's what I'm playing in my current driver. Uh, looks like you have the weight forward. I do. I yep. know you like forward CG. I know you like less spin. I know you crave a little more ball speed, so I, I would say we're, we're going to hedge towards the setting that you most likely would end up testing best in with that Cobra head. And then obviously when we hit the Mizuno, that uh, 190G model will shove that weight up forward too to do a kind of a head-to-head -head comparison. Yep, that would be a good test. Uh, also going to be hitting the Atmos Black Torspec 6X shaft. Um, essentially, it's going to be pretty close to what shaft that I'm currently playing. I'm playing the Graphite Design BB 6X. Yeah. Um, this is offered by both Mizuno and Cobra. Yeah, no upcharge. And so no it's upcharge, just a great so. shaft option to choose for for those um, price conscious individuals that want something that's not a, a major upgrade over over the price point that um, both companies offer. So sounds good. Great well, pick. Let's get after it. Love it. All right. All right, Mr. Campbell. Looks like uh, Cobra F9 Speedback uh, wins the. Uh, Wins the pole position here. Let's get started with that one. Right. Sounds good. I'm excited to see some numbers with this uh, driver. Yeah, both of these drivers, you know, for a Cobra and Mizuno brand, by far the most buzz we've ever seen on those brands in the driver market yep. this year. Doesn't, sure. ha doesn't hurt that a couple of uh, their tour players have had a lot of success this year. So yeah. definitely doesn't hurt. Yep. Right. A little more solid. That's a pretty good first swing of the day there, Thomas. Yeah, that was pretty solid. A lot of feedback positive on the sound of this driver. We'll hit a couple more, but uh, really interested to hear your feedback on that as a, as a better player, you know, what you think of the, the acoustics here. Off center on yep. that one. That was definitely a little bit of a miss hit. Yeah, maybe a shade towards the bottom side of the face there, it sounded like. A little bit of spin. Yeah, a little bit, maybe a little, little bottom there. Okay, a couple more. There we go, it was more solid. Yeah, turn through that one nice, Thomas. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's really, really loud. It's just like a kind of like a, it's just a solid feel off the club face. It just, you know, I've, I've heard louder drivers. Mm -hmm. um, just, yeah, it doesn't good really. Thud. It's just a good thud, exactly. Yeah, just a good thud, essentially. There's three good ones out there. Yep. We might uh, use the outlier button on that second one. That's a good yeah, that one was definitely a little bit of a miss hit. Yep, let's get right. two more in there. Get a couple more in there, all right. Wonderful. On the strike, maybe a little too much shape for your liking but yeah it's got a little bit of curve right to left there today yep in the yep. neutral position i would say that this head's got a little more left in it than some of the others that we've tested in yep. the standard position no real fade bias we can or cg uh, movement you know in terms of horizontal dispersion we can have with that particular driver so this Correct. is one thing yep. to keep in mind i'll fire one more There's your fade bias there. Yeah, that was, that was us talking you into hitting one a little bit straighter. Yep. Overall, what would be your, your takeaways there after a couple more hits? How do you like the crown, the shape? We talked about the sound, kind of a quiet, 
thud. Yeah, versus kind of, kind of a quiet thud versus here. some of the louder drivers that I've heard. Um, looking down at it, it looks like a traditional kind of driver head. Obviously, it's got kind of the more of an maybe an aerodynamic look on the, on the top with the, with the crown there. Yep. But looking down, it looks like a pretty traditional looking looking driver head. Um, it's nice. I like I like the black. I like the black on the with a little bit of yellow there. But yeah, it looks good. Totally. Yeah. Uh, certainly, we've seen in our hitting bays and our fittings a lot of players gravitating towards that avalanche white model with a little more yep. of that matte crown. You know, for players that maybe don't like the more traditional shine from a, a glossy crown. Mm -hmm. So Cobra always does a nice job of providing a lot of different options in terms options, of the aesthetics, colors. you know, yep. obviously colors and, and different shapes in the past, but this year, you know, two really rock solid options in terms of the look. So, yep. so let's switch over to the Mizuno. Again, we're using the same shaft this morning. Thomas is testing the Fujikura Atmos Tour Spec Black yep. in a 6X, right? 6X, yep, 6X. Um, so same shaft on both heads. Uh, which head model do you have there, Thomas, from Mizuno? So this is the ST190G model. Right off the bat, it looks a little bit different head. It looks larger. Okay. I don't know. Just like footprint Just a little bit bigger. Just footprint looks larger. Okay. Yep. And with the ST190G model, you do have the movable weights. So those are both up towards the front right now. Yep. Just as a player, you know, your profile, you like a little bit less spin. Correct. We're trying yep. to get that, you know, really into that optimal window. That forward CG rewards your center face contact, maybe a little more ball speed. Yep. So this is a better way to compare it to the, uh, the Cobra. We're going to hit Cobra. that uh, Mizuno's other driver as well. Okay. But this head yep. is a little closer to the F9, especially when the weights are both set forward on okay. both models, right? Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely want to try and keep that spin down as low as I can and as much distance as I possibly can hit it. Talked about the look of the Cobra. You know, Mizuno definitely has uh, calmed down their crown some since their previous ones. I know that Mizuno Blue is not for everybody yep. on their previous uh, drivers, but this one, you know, it's hard to really can't go wrong with the color. Yeah. It's a yep. very nice looking driver at, at a dress. Yep. To me, for some reason, it looks like it's got more loft on it. I know they're both set at nine degrees, but for some yep. reason, it just looks like you see the see more face. See on more this club one. face on this one. Kay. Yeah. So I'm not so sure if I like that as much as having less loft. Well, it looks like less loft. Right. So I like to try and force myself to hit up on it. Right. Those are important takeaways. Not every golfer can articulate things like that um, in terms of what they look and see at. I mean, you've hit enough golf balls and have an, enough of a discerning eye to make sometimes head decisions just based on setup. You know, how yep. is that going to influence the way I take it back? How is that going to influence how I try to deliver the club, mm -hmm. even if they both have the same loft? Golf's a mental game, and your equipment it is, yeah. plays a role in that for sure. So that's that's awesome feedback. Yeah, it's just it really actually stood stood out to me right when I put the club head down. I was like, well, it looks a little larger. It looked like it had more loft on it. Yep. So I double checked right away. Huh? Both at nine. So <laughs> <laughs> good. Your fitter got that piece of the puzzle right. That's good. Yep. I can breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Pretty good on the ball speed here. Yeah. Very consistent. How about the sound, Thomas? Compare that to the Cobra. What do you what do you prefer? How are they different? Let me hit another one. I'm trying to Absolutely. really trying to notice the difference. It, honestly, they sound pretty similar, but let's see. Possibly just a little bit louder. I think the Mizuno, slightly louder. The Cobra just had a little bit more of a kind of a thud to it, yeah. essentially. No, I think yeah. that, that that comparison is very analogous to what we've been hearing all spring. 
in terms of those two drivers. You know, Cobras definitely has that unique sound that's not loud. Yep. It's not tinny. It's not boisterous. It's a, it's a, it's a muted mm -hmm. thud. And if you like drivers that have kind of that characteristic, um, I think that's where the Cobra driver's really been turning some heads for sure outside of just the performance. Yep. Um, and then obviously, you know, a quick just staring at the dispersion patterns, you know, both Mizuno and, and Cobra definitely lining up pretty close. A little mm -hmm. less spin with the Cobra. looks like it, you're turning over a little I didn't notice that. Yeah, more. you had four yep. shots up there that were turning off a little when it went a little further. So yeah, let's try, let's try the, S, uh, S, the, the, the standard head, the non-G okay. model, um, just to see how maybe the ball speed and the forgiveness plays a role. Sounds good. Ultimately, the difference between the two Mizuno models, it's not, you can't quite simplify it down to this, but it's kind of like playing the F9 with the weight in the back. Yep. You know, obviously more of a rearward CG. A little more forgiving, maybe easier to get the ball up in the air, possibly a little easier. Correct. Yep. I mean, just like other brands that have a movable weight technology, you know, the fast track technology in the Mizuno will cost the engineers some discretionary weight. So yep. by not having the tracks, you know, think of ping drivers in the past or think of other um, like M6 from TaylorMade. You know, yep. they can take that weight that is required to build the track system and they can apply that weight elsewhere in the head to, yep. to see different characteristics, increase MOI, those yep. types of things. Essentially, so, yep. You know, for, for those players that maybe are a little more inconsistent with their hit location um, or just really need more off-center performance, that's where this head might be a little better. Because of the rearward CG, we might anticipate a little more spin. Yep. Maybe a little higher peak trajectory. But we'll set this one at nine as well and try to do more of an apples to apples comparison. Again, same shaft as we've been hitting with the Cobra and the first Mizuno model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the all head looks awfully similar. I've noticed other manufacturers, for example, the, the different model that they have had, they may look a little bit different, a little bit smaller and more compact, maybe. But these heads look identically the same. But there's a lot of similarities yep. between these two heads, certainly in terms of the shape. I mean, there's subtle differences, but yep. you know, when I set both down, I have a hard time picking out which one's which, um, just at the cr at a, just by yep. looking down at the crown. So you're right, and that's a good thing. I think there's good. Well, you have consistency. You don't have one head that looks better or one head that looks smaller. Or yep. One head that might appeal to one player's senses, but they kind of need the other one based on its construction and its performance. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's kind of a Actually, a good feature to have both heads looking very similar. Yep. How did that strike feel? It felt what actually pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, it felt pretty solid. Yep. Those are two pretty darn centered hits. We saw the ball speed a little bit lower yep. than the 190G model. Um, and then obviously we're seeing some height and spin. That one might be a little bit of an indoor outlier. Yeah, there I don't know if that spin. would have spun quite 4,500. Yep, it's a little higher than what you normally get. Yep. But definitely launch and peak height coming up a little bit with this one. Felt more solid. Oh, there you go. Interesting one there. Very, <laughs> yep. That was a little bit off the toll, so maybe that's why that felt solid to me. Yep. <laughs> Get that spin down. Yep, big swing in the spin <laughs> rates there. There's that missing ball speed. Definitely not f finding the same uh, you're not presenting that club as, a, as consistently as you have with the other two heads. Yeah. You know, so whether it's the weight of that head or, you know, just the timing, it's not where you're expecting it to be. Um, you know, obviously that's a pretty large dispersion pattern. You're seeing some mm -hmm. inconsistencies with the spin. And I think, you know, what we found pretty much every driver that has really performed well for you this season has been more forward in the CG. It's been a little bit smaller. It's been a little bit flatter, you know, yep. all those things. So, you know, whereas in this test, this head's not performing great for, for your tendencies, 
you know, a lot of the golfers that we fit with these two Mizuno models, this head does kind of win when it's yeah. off center and and um, you know, kind of helping to improve I that feel ball like speed off center on off center hits for sure. I feel like when I'm just gonna hit this, I feel like I'm gonna hit a high and straight. That's kind of how I how I feel like. I mean, it's, I feel yeah. like it's not gonna go way left or anything like that, but it's just kind of gone kind of high and straight. This might be some, it might be a feeling at a dress that a lot of golfers would like to feel, right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, straight. that might be good for most play, most players. Might be a little bit more forgiving, but yep. quite getting me the distance that I want. Yeah, that's exactly the shot I feel like I'm going to hit with this. Yeah. Just the high, kind of straight, little spinnier. Definitely. Well, I'm gonna, this is that 14400 RPM shot. It was a little bit of an outlier. Same thing with the Cobra. We had that one that. You got one here that was 3300. That second ball that came out a little goofy. Mizuno here as well. It was maybe yep. a little bit of an outlier. And then. Yeah, even, even the great Thomas Campbell uh, on a 20 swing test uh, might throw a few outliers in this there. This has so. actually been a pretty rough test this morning, yep. actually. <laughs> all three, all three of the miss hits. Yeah. Well, this is, I would say this is not your A plus yep. day. We've had my mornings where you just hit yep. unbelievable, <laughs> but you yep. know, all three had, had one miss that kind of spun on you. It was a little bit off center. Yep. It wasn't a, a swing you were proud of. So if we kind of hide those from the test for a second, boost your ego and your confidence <laughs> here a little bit, you can be a little more proud of this sample size. So we had kind of yep. that white, pattern there I was with the Cobra, the yellow pattern there uh, with the ST190G from Mizuno with the weights set in the forward position. Yep. And then the purple pattern was um, with the standard uh, 190 uh, from Mizuno also at nine degrees. So yep. you know, just based on the dispersion and what you felt like over at address, you know, what would be your summary of those three heads, you know, for a player like you knowing what you like um, summary for me, I felt like the Cobra, I feel like I could maybe hit it a little bit further. Felt like it, you know, it was a little bit more easier for me to maybe turn over. Um, yeah, uh, which I'd is say something that, that's a quality you like in, in your driver. Yep. You know, you prefer a, a left shape, right to left versus one that's kind of hanging out to the right. Yep. Correct. I didn't mind the, the G model as much. Uh, I think just knowing that that weight was slid forward knowing that I may be chasing a little bit of spin a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, that, that may be why I kind of like that driver a little bit more than the, the, other, one, uh, the other one right here, the ST190. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt like it was gonna go straighter probably out of the mold, but I just didn't think I was gonna get it, it as far. Yeah. That's what it kind of came down to, I think, between the three of them. Yeah, and that's, I mean, in terms of the testing, that's kind of what, that's kind of what played out in the numbers. Yep. Um, you know, if you're looking at ball speed, you know, between the F9 and both Mizuno models, they all actually were very close. Yep. Again, the both models where we pushed the weight a little bit more forward, you know, you did see a little uptick in the ball speed where that rearward CG in the standard Mizuno model, you did lose a little bit of ball speed, especially yep. in like the first two hits, which we felt like you hit pretty solid. Mm -hmm. We didn't see as much of that ball speed coming through. Um, and the Cobra had just a slight edge in ball speed overall. Um, good smash factor all the way through. You know, definitely saw consistent launch angles, but you know, if we're looking at just the two Mizuno models, you know, we did see the launch come up about one degree with the standard model, we're having that weight more set rearward in the head. Yep. The spin was on average about the same, but again, we had that one, yeah, that uh, one 1700 RPM knuckleball that you hit. The other three shots uh, that were more typical for you actually spun up into the 3,000s, 3, which yeah. we know for you is a spin rate that's it's a shade too high for what you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. You know, higher peak height, a little bit of a softer landing angle. So I would say certainly for what you're looking for on the driver, um, the G model with the weights more forward checks more boxes for you for sure. Yep. Right? Um, again, carry distance wise, yep, Cobra was just slightly better at 279. On average, we've seen that throughout the season. You know, your peak maybe 284 with some of the models on days where you're swinging it really well. Yeah, I'm about you 280, know, approximately. Yep, 280 yeah, is a, yeah. a pretty good number for you, yep. generally speaking, for carry. Um, you know, so the Cobra, again, slightly faster than the Mizuno, um, and then a little bit better spin rate in this comparison. And then yep. also, you know, you got them all to turn over, which, you know, something that obviously you're trying to produce on these on these shots on a on just kind of your stock swing. Yep. Um, but yeah, really, really, really solid. Obviously, 
you know, the numbers here are very impressive from both. That puts Cobra and Mizuno in the running. You know, when we have players coming in for a driver fitting the last five years, usually they weren't coming in clamoring to test a Cobra and a Mizuno, mm -hmm. you know, competing against kind of the four big OEMs. Well, now they're definitely in the conversation, you know, so there's, there's enough ball speed, there's enough adjustability to get spin and launch angle and center of gravity where we want it. Yep. Um, and then, like you said in the beginning of the video, you know, just being validated on tour. I mean, Mizuno had their first driver uh, win in a long time. Um, and then obviously Cobra's got a lot of big names playing it and, um, and already off to a bunch of wins here in 2019 as well. Yeah, so that's definitely, definitely, definitely giving it, players yeah. confidence in those two brands for sure. Another great driver test, Thomas. We saw a lot of interesting data, great feedback from you on how the three heads compared. You know, hopefully those that are watching and may be interested in Cobra and Mizuno might not be a driver you were thinking of you know, in previous years, but definitely should be on your radar this year when you're heading in for a driver fitting. Yeah, I really liked all three. Um, one thing I'd, I did notice at setup was the Mizuno just looked a little bit more open for some reason. They both all were nine degree heads. So mm -hmm. for me, I feel like I was going to hit them just a little bit higher, mm -hmm. especially the ST190. The G mm -hmm. still stayed a little bit lower, didn't quite spin as much. Yep. I was hitting it straight, but it essentially just wasn't going quite as far. Yep. Just noticed that the spin was a little bit lower with the Cobra model, and I was able to maybe turn it over just a little bit easier. Yeah, and those are the findings we saw with your swing and your tendencies. You know, obviously, it's going to be different for every player, um, but that's why, you know, certainly want you to come and get fit if you're near one of our stores. Um, and we hope the video just kind of helps you guys uh, shed some light on some drivers that uh, are definitely performing really well this season.